There is no one-size-fits-all, so stop using generic AI tools. And imagine a 100% you AI, a virtual twin you have trained on yourself. This is not possible with the individual personas feature from Xeno by Text Cortex, one of the top 10 generative AI companies in Europe. Ask yourself this question. Are you talking to your boss like you do to your friends, to your girlfriend or to your clients? No, you sure don't. So why do you use generic AIs to write for you? Those AIs don't act like you and they sure don't write in a tone the receiver of your message would understand. The individual persona feature lets you customize as many AI agents as you want on whatever characteristica you want to train it on. May it be a virtual twin of yourself, a character in your book or your preferred communication style to a client. Now let me explain you how you can start using this feature. So what you want to do is you first need to register for Text Cortex, or if you already have an account, simply log in. Now we are already in Xenochat, which will be important in the later steps because the place where you can use your persona in the first place is Xenochat here in the persona selection. We have a few standard and default characters already, but if you build your own persona, you could either click here to add your own persona or you go to customizations, individual personas, and here you can already see my Dominic Lambersi, my own virtual twin persona, so to say. You can just click here, create your own AI persona to set it up. What I will do now is basically I will jump into my existing persona because I put quite some significant preparation into that already and I'm going to edit my persona. And here this would be usually the first view you would see when you click on creating a new persona. You add the name of the persona, the background where you would usually say like, hey, you are now impersonating a certain person. May it be yourself, may it be one of your fictional characters. Maybe it's just the persona you want to use for email writing to your boss. What you start with is you give a little bit of background. Yeah, I've, wrote, I've written down here that I'm a tech entrepreneur, co-founder of Tech Cortex, born and raised on Oktoberfest more or less. Uh, I mean, I've earned my first pocket money with selling in-game items in the early 2000s. Uh, and I'm in the startup scene for almost a decade, etc. PP, my vision uh, and some yeah, adjectives, beliefs and values I would describe myself around. Uh, you give a short persona description, you can say this is my virtual twin, which wasn't saved here now. Uh, what you then can do is give some text samples. Why is that important? Because what we are trying to accomplish is to replicate your style of your writing and your thinking by taking whatever you yeah, give us in the first place and analyze it over 60 different character traits. So what I've done here quite simply is uh, I'm quite active on Twitter and on LinkedIn. I've taken some old LinkedIn posts, for example, and just entered them here such that Xeno can analyze them. Yeah, free text examples. I can add a category for later categorization. Yeah, if you have multiple email personas, for example, if you have a student persona or multiple student personas for your different uh, lectures and courses, for example, you could also build them. And all you got to do later is then say save the persona gets saved and then you go into interfaces such as Xenochat. You know, Dominic Lambersi is now already pre-selected because here in the view I have basically told it that this is my default persona. Please always use that wherever I am. And now I could basically ask Dominic Lambersi, what did you do when you were young? So after we have customized our persona, let's jump right into action. What you can see here now, that's our Xenochat web app interface. Uh, the persona Dominic is already pre-selected because I've said it's my default. What you can see here, the little bubble, that's our browser extension, which I highly recommend you to download as well to basically use all the superpowers of Xeno on over 4,000 websites and web apps and any type of platforms within your browser. You can also, also see here, Dominic Lambersi is my pre-selected persona. Anyhow, for the matters of this tutorial here, let me walk you through. So it already greets me. Hey, I'm Dominic Lamberthy. Uh, so now I ask Dominic, what did you do when you were younger? Question mark. What it now should basically do is uh, yeah, read through your background and replicate, you know, where you're coming from, where could some potential values come from? Um, I can now ask it, what would be your top advices? when speaking in front of an audience of aspiring, aspire, aspiring founders. OK, 
can you make bullet points out of them? Okay, now we have four bullet points. Let's say, okay, fine. Uh, give me a catchy title for each bullet and expand on them below. Evaluation creation is king. Yeah, that's uh, one of my favorites here. But you can see basically I've trained my persona once and now it's really easy for me to also create content around my own persona, which shares my beliefs, shares my values, and I can take it wherever I want to do. I could now also just simply package that in a tweet and send it out. It needs a little bit more formatting though. So after I've shown you how you can use your persona with Xeno in the web app, let me also show you how you can use your persona everywhere in the browser with our extension. The extension being installed, there are different videos for that. Check them out in the description. If you have installed the uh, extension, you're going to have this little bubble here. If you don't like the bubble, I know there are a few people, you just can hide it everywhere and you can reactivate it in the extension settings. But all you got to do now is you open a sidebar, the persona will be pre-selected, Dominic Lamberti, we are on Twitter, and I want to write a Twitter thread on how to raise venture capital. And actually, let me also say, I really want to write an engaging Twitter thread on how to raise venture capital. Zeno now thinks about who you are, the background of your persona, the values, beliefs, and let's check what Zeno is writing here. Do your research. Something I would absolutely say, really, you don't need to talk to every investor who reaches out to you. Uh, check out whether they are in your industry, whether they are in your stage of investment. Build relationships, absolutely. We love when investors come over or wherever we are, we just meet up in person because the Zoom black box is a little bit boring. Nail your pitch, have a solid business plan. Be transparent, absolutely. Show honesty. Yeah, As a founder, you do not know everything. But if you have a big vision, you know, it's your job to deal with uncertainty and build alongside this uncertainty, whatever you want to build and make big follow up. Absolutely. Uh, always be engaging with an investor. So that's pretty much a Twitter thread. I would also say to educate, I would say I would have uh, around 13 more advices, but agrees a lot with my beliefs and values. Now I could, you know, copy and paste it and simply straight tweet it out from here. There are thousands of ways you can utilize Xenochat and the individual persona is just one of the many beloved features we have. In the description below, I will link you a package of 210 prompts to get you started. Don't forget to grab it in the link below. There will also be a link to a blog post with a very, very much more detailed guide and tutorial to how you customize your persona. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to our channel, like, and whatever tutorial you need, please let us know in the comments. Thank you very much.